Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt, and I got some uh, research here. I'm going to go through it as quickly as I can, but it's about saturated fat, uh, consumption of saturated fat, and cholesterol. So this first one is by an author named Dean Esme, and what he's saying is that despite more than a decade of American diet gurus recommending low-fat diets for weight loss, there remains no study which clearly shows that low-fat diets result in long-term significant weight loss um, among those chronically obese. And he says down here, um, it, this is in no way surprising to those who spent much time reviewing the scientific literature. So the truth is that not one clinical study has ever shown that low-fat diets allow long-term reversal of obesity in most subjects, whether combined with exercise or not. So what he's saying is that um, low-fat diets, whether they exercise or not, does not show um, good weight loss. And this was actually, I printed this, I actually typed this up and printed this out in 1999. And here it is, 2015. And this is still true. I have an expert friend in Washington, D.C. I was on the phone with her a couple years ago. She said that, you know, in 2012 or 13, on the phone with her, she said, there are no studies that show that low-fat diets cause long-term significant weight loss. So it's still true. Um, this one says... A recent study involving over 40,000 middle-aged and older American men over a period of six years found there's no link between saturated fat intake and heart disease. So there's no link between saturated fat intake and heart disease. It's never been shown. It's never been proven. So as a matter of fact, there's some good fats for the heart and it's cardioprotective. Okay, now this is my favorite by far of all quotes in all of healthcare. And there's a study done in Framingham, Massachusetts by the Harvard um, School of Public Health, and there's like 30,000 people that live in this town. And over the course of decades, they sent them a survey every once in a while saying, how's your health, and what do you eat, and what, do you, what kind of lifestyle choices do you have? Do you smoke, do you exercise, do you take supplements? And what this one says, in Framingham, Massachusetts, the more saturated fat one ate, the more cholesterol one ate, the more calories one ate, the lower their, their cholesterol was. We found that the people who ate the most cholesterol, ate the most saturated fat, and ate the most calories, weighed the least, and were the most physically active. This is from the director of the study. His name is Dr. William Castile, and this is published in the Archives of Internal Medicine in 1992. And um, so uh, food industry companies and other researchers who... Um, are promoting low-fat diets, they take this Framingham study and they twist it around. This is the most abused study in nutrition, probably. And here's the director saying, the people who eat, who eat saturated fat, cholesterol, and the most calories are the leanest and they're, they're the most active. Okay, so here's a um, research. Um, this is from a book from Dr. George Mann saying that he's talking about this diet-heart hypothesis. So saturated fat do, you know, is, does not cause heart disease. And he's saying that <clears throat> that the, that it's been shown to be wrong that saturated fat causes heart disease. That's wrong. And yet, for complicated reasons of pride, profit, and prejudice, the hypothesis continues to be exploited by scientists, fundraising enterprises, food companies, and even governmental agencies. The public is being deceived by the greatest health scam of the century. So there's reasons why people keep promoting low fat, and it's pride, it's profit, and it's um, who knows, and, and other unknown reasons why. It's kind of sick, really. Okay, this one says, the idea that saturated fats causes heart disease is completely wrong, but the statement has been published, published so many times over the last three or more decades that it's very difficult to convince people otherwise unless they're willing to take the time to read and learn what produced the anti-saturated fat agenda. So this is from Dr. Mary Enig, and what she's saying is, you may not understand why you've been told that saturated fat is bad, but you will when you study the people who say it. So they have um, evil intentions. They have their own selfish reasons why they're saying it. And once you understand that, then you can believe that saturated fat is good for you, and the research shows you over and over again that it's good for you. So this was published um, in the uh, Journal of the American College of Nutrition. 
Okay, this is the last one. Now, there's a book called Protein Power, and the author is e <coughs> Eads. <clears throat> and there's a chapter in there about archaeology, and they're looking at bones of uh, skeletons that they dig up. And what they're saying is that the hunter-gatherers had strong bones and strong teeth, and the farmers had weak bones and weak teeth. And so, <clears throat> this says that this was so consistent that the archaeologists, the scientists, um, knew the re they classified the remains of the society that they discovered. And if they had strong bones, that whole society were hunter-gatherers. If they had weak bones and weak teeth, that whole society were farmers or agriculturalists. So it's just so standard in archaeology that that's how they classify it. So if you want weak bones and weak teeth, eat a uh, uh, agricultural type diet with grains. If you want stronger bones, you have to eat more of a hunter-gatherer diet or paleo diet is what they call it now. So these are uh, some of my favorite studies on low-fat nutrition. And uh, I printed these up in 1999. I've kept them ever since. And now that we have YouTube and I got an iPhone, I can record this. Now you're getting this information.